Hello, it's Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. Whether your hair is barely there or down to there, let's talk about the six hair trends that I see happening in 2022. That's right, lots is happening in fashion and that if fashion affects what's happening on your head, I see some definitive trends happening in 2022. And a lot of those have to do with fashion inspired by the 80s and early 90s. How does this happen? It happens because a lot of young people who are coming to age right now between the ages of 16 to 24 have parents who are, yes, my age and who came to age in the 80s and the early 90s. This repeats itself all the time. When I was uh, coming to age in the 80s, we were looking back and I was wearing retro fashions from the late 50s and the early 60s, and it's, it happens all the time. And so that happens in fashion and it affects what the hair is gonna look like also. These are my six picks for what you can be doing with your hair, whether it is barely there or it's down to there, there is something for everyone from short to long. And we'll start with one of my favorites, which would be bald. Yes, bald is, in my opinion, always gonna be in. Um, nothing nicer than a slick head with a big beard. And we see that here on my friend uh, Dave Vendetta, um, who rocks it particularly well. Even without a beard, looks great having a smooth shaved head. And then another option on this is going for basically the five o'clock shadow. So growing a little less than a week's worth of growth on your head, like Wally Savage here. This is going to be a look that'll always look good. So if you were follically challenged, this is your look, obviously. But if you're someone like uh, Wally, who has a fair amount of hair on his head and chooses to shave it, it's a great look. Now, getting a little longer, what we have is the messy crop. What is the messy crop? If you think about um, in the teens, we had the um, French crop or um, more definitive hair on top, really short on the sides, taking that haircut and letting it grow in a little bit and then you get the messy crop. Taking that to the next level would be someone like Pete Davidson who takes the, um, the traditional messy crop and grows it out for about six weeks. Um, that's a trend that I see happening. So what gets a little longer than that messy crop? That would be the up-to-date barbershop cut. And what do I mean by up-to-date? Traditionally, you go to the barbershop every two, three, four weeks. You are um, wanting to get the sides fairly tight whether that be a bald fade or one or two on the sides and you're doing your tapers and it's a crisp look. Uh, this look has been popular basically for the past 20 years. What I'm seeing in the next year and into the 20s is a slightly longer executive haircut. You can see examples here on Andrew Garfield who has a traditional barbershop haircut but has let it grow out a little on the sides and is wearing it a little fuller on the top. This is basically how I wore my hair back in the early 80s too. I would be going to the barber shop, but lack of funds, I wasn't going all the time, and so my hair would get a little longer. And that's kind of what I'm rocking now. I'm wearing this a little longer on the sides, and this works pretty well whether your hair is straight or whether it's curly. You have options with this haircut. What you can do is continue to go to your barber shop and say, hey, I wanna let the sides grow a little longer. Don't cut them this time, or just trim around my ears. Let's let this hair grow a little fuller. Go ahead and taper the back, um, but let's let the hair grow a little longer on the sides. So this is the what I'm calling the up-to-date executive haircut. This does look more like what an executive would have worn back in the 80s. It would not have been the, um, the clipper cut short barbershop that we've been seeing for the past one or two decades. You can see that on the likes of a lot of guys, whether it be Ryan Reynolds, he never gets skin on the side. Someone like Oscar Isaac, um, a little fuller on the sides. And then what I'm seeing is a big trend and you can actually go to The Gilded Age, which is an HBO um, uh, uh, TV show and which is about the Gilded Age, 1882 in New York. And you can see the robber barons wearing barbershop haircuts that aren't down the skin. So having a little more hair on the sides coupled with a beard. So a haircut like this, an executive, up-to-date executive haircut works really well with an executive size beard.
So if you're going to get that, then remember, not as tight, not as short as you might be used to wearing, but you still need to go to the barber shop to get this look in place. How would I style this look? I would be using styling, styling balm on it uh, to get more of that uh, controlled look. Um, a, a lot of this has controlled look, but it's not as precious as some of the looks that we have been seeing in the teens that are actually slicked back and held tight to the head. So you can go a little looser and it can be free to move a little bit. Next hair trend, uh, getting longer, would be my favorite, and that would be the 80s, um, short in the front, long in the back. Now you're gonna say, hey, isn't that just a mullet? And I actually think it's different than a mullet. It is actually having a more of a sizable amount of hair in the back that's not necessarily super long. Um, so distinguished from what I call a, a rural mullet, uh, which could tend to look more like a shag in the back, uh, to having a look that is more like an 80s Duran Duran look, an 80s um, pop star look. I actually wore my hair um, short on the sides, long in the back in the 80s. There's a couple of pictures here. It was actually growing it out at this point, but my hair was always cut above my ears and longer in the back. That's something we would specifically ask for. Uh, we cut each other's hair, and my buddies would cut my hair, I would cut my friend's hair, and I would say, cut my ears out. And that just meant we're not cutting the back, we're letting that grow a little bit, but we're going to cut around the ears to let it grow. You see that on um, whether it be just the hint of hair coming out of the back, like Jake Julenhall or Christian Bell uh, to something, or Bradley Cooper uh, to something more, um, more hair sticking out the back like I was wearing back in the 80s to a Chris Pine. So lots of options here. I think this is one of the biggest trends. Um, not super short, but requiring you to actually get a hairstyle that's set into place. The beauty of this is you can go a couple of months without a haircut, or you can go and have your haircut every month to maintain the length once you get there. This is a great versatile haircut. This can be slicked down like you can see on um, Bradley Cooper here to look more professional. I have a lawyer friend who wears his hair like this, who has a little more hair in the back and yet uh, slicks the front and top down or it can be loo um, worn t uh, looser on the top. So more casual or more executive, it's up to you. Lots of versatility, and so you see this hairstyle a lot on models today. Um, you see them rocking this hair because it gives them versatility, so whether they're in a, sh a shoot requiring them to wear a suit, or whether they're on the beach, they have enough hair on the top of their head and on the sides um, to um, play with and to actually have some versatility when it comes to styling. That's my pick for the definitive choice of what I would uh, think is the trend in 2022. But let's look at some other ones. When you grow that hair out a little bit, you get a hairstyle that is really mid-long. And what I'm saying is it has no intention of turning into long hair. And see Brad Pitt had grown his hair for a movie. It was never going to get down to his shoulders. And someone like Timothy here, he has been rocking this hair for about 18 months. Um, the same length. It's a definitive choice, and so it's not like he is growing his hair out uh, in order to get it long. He grew it to this length and is setting at that length. So it's a medium long look. Um, it looks like long hair, but it's not really. And this has some versatility also that you can slick this down, but not as easily as you could with the up-to-date um, 80s rock hair. And then last on the, this list, getting really long would be long. So whether you're going to wear that more controlled like uh, Jared Leto or whether you're going to let it go like Spazoyski, um, he had actually grown his hair. We had the same haircut at the same time and I am a little jealous of him. He has not cut his hair yet. So he is in to the point of about three years plus, um, but he just wears his hair pretty wild. You see this on Brock O'Hearn also, um, just a natural take on long hair nothing precious, hardly combed. Sea salt spray would be the uh, definitive product to use on a hair length like this. Um, that would actually be the other one, uh, the one before this also. So uh, longer hair, um, definitively not growing it out. And this long hair using sea salt spray. Sea salt spray was my go-to um, when my hair was longer. And um, it's great for actually oil control at the root. And so if you're not gonna wash your hair, especially if you have long hair, and you know you can tell by looking at the, um, some of these guys you know there's not a lot of hair washing going on here 
that you, it's, it would be a laborious uh, chore that you'd be going through. So, but sea salt spray is the way to go with those. So those are my trends, uh, my picks for trends in 2022. So whether you're going for super short, bald look, or whether you're growing your hair down to there, there are options. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go out on a limb that my favorite in this list is definitely an up-to-date 80s, short on the sides, long in the back, uh, but not necessarily a mullet. Sorry, Eric. Um, it is definitely 80s inspired, and um, that's my choice for 2022. So, any of those ring with you? Comment below and tell us what you like, and if there's something that you would put on the list as trending in 2022, and if something that you would take off this list, let me know. Till we meet again. For years and years and years, men were like, hey, you can't do that. You can do that. It's okay to spend some time on your grooming. And if grooming helps you to feel better, helps you to look better, I'm all for it. That's what's important.